On the 2nd of May 2017, a 23-year-old man covered in blood stumbled into Barnet Hospital at around 7.30pm where he collapsed to the ground upon arrival. The police were called to attend the hospital, stating that a man presented himself covered in blood, appearing to be suffering stab wounds, and was immediately rushed into emergency surgery. Prior to this, the police were alerted to attend Cooper Gardens in Southgate at around 7.15pm after an argument broke out over money between a group of young men gathered in the park. They were told that one man appeared to be in a bad position and was seen to collapse as he tried fleeing from the scene with the aid of his friends. Unfortunately, despite the best efforts from the doctors, the young man died during emergency surgery and was pronounced dead roughly one hour later at 8.20pm. Two days later, on the 4th of May 2017, a post-mortem examination concluded the cause of death as a single stab wound to the chest, piercing the heart in the process. The next day, on the 5th of May, the victim was formally identified by the Metropolitan Police as officers released a photo of 23-year-old Cheon McMillan, also known as Shea. Homicide detectives learnt that the 23-year-old was attacked four miles away from the hospital close to his family home in a park in Cooper Gardens. The Metropolitan Police opened up a murder investigation, with detectives hunting a group of people who they believe witnessed the fatal stabbing of Shea, for who they believe had fallen victim to a targeted attack. Detective Chief Inspector Lee Watling, who was leading the investigation for the Homicide and Major Crime Command, issued a statement to the public in which he confirmed Shay's identity and the location of the murder. He spoke about how there would have been a number of people in Cooper Gardens at the time of the incident that had attended in cars and appealed for them to get in touch. Shay's murder comes after a week of bloodshed on the streets of London in which six other men lost their lives from knife attacks. As of the 5th of May 2017, a total of 17 people under 25 had been fatally stabbed in London in 2017. The night after Shay's murder, friends and relatives lit candles at a tearful vigil at the scene as police officers searched drains and checked beneath vehicles in a hunt for the murder weapon. A cousin, who did not wish to be named, told the standard, He was just so bubbly. He is just a normal guy and he didn't deserve what happened. He wasn't supposed to be there. The last time I saw him at the park, we were playing football. He loved it and played centre-back. I have no idea what happened to him. His mum is just trying to cope. Everybody knows him around here. They all liked him. He was a popular guy. A note written by Shay's grandparents read, Such a wonderful and caring young man, taken away from all of us family and friends. You will always be in our hearts forever. Rest in peace. Two men, aged 25 and 27, were arrested in connection with Shay's murder the day after his killing, but they were both later released under investigation. The Metropolitan Police responded to London's week of violence by launching a 80-strong task force to be deployed to trouble spots to curb flare-ups of violence and was understood to have increased stop and searches in knife crime hotspots. In a week-long operation, officers and police cadets had been carrying out test purchases of knives in stores and promoting amnesty bins for knives around London. Police carrying out weapon sweeps on Operation Scepter patrols had already uncovered an array of knives hidden by gangs. Over the course of the next month, the Metropolitan Police made two more arrests in conjunction with the murder. This included the arrest of a 20-year-old man from a house in Hornsey a week after Shay's murder on the 9th of May, who was arrested on suspicion of murder, before later being released on bail. The second arrest was of a young female on the 8th of June on suspicion of assisting an offender who was also released on bail, but none of these individuals were ever charged for Shay's murder. On the 26th of August 2017, Almost three months after Shay's murder, it seemed the authorities were struggling to bring justice to the killer until a 20-year-old man was arrested at Stansted Airport on suspicion of murder and was due to appear at Highbury Corner Magistrates Court the following day. The man appeared in custody at Highbury Corner Magistrates Court on Monday the 28th of August 
and was identified as Gerard O'Field of no fixed address and was charged with the murder of Cheyenne McMillan in Cooper Gardens on May 2nd, 2017. He was remanded to appear at the Old Bailey on Wednesday the 30th of August. Meanwhile, the other suspects who were previously arrested and released under investigation for the murder were told by police that they would face no further action. The unnamed suspects comprised three men, aged 27, 25 and 20, as well as a 19-year-old woman who were arrested between the 3rd of May and the 8th of June 2017. At the Old Bailey on Wednesday the 30th of August, Judge Michael Topolsky, QC, slammed London's knife crime epidemic, whilst Gerard O'Field was accused of stabbing Cheyenne McMillan to death in the street. He spoke about how this was yet another case of a young man dying at the hands of another by use of a knife after being fatally stabbed in the chest. Shea became the seventh victim to be fatally stabbed in the capital in 10 days when he was attacked in Cooper Gardens in Southgate, North London, on the 2nd of May. The judge said the three-week murder trial will take place on the 19th of February 2018 following a plea and trial preparation hearing at the Old Bailey on November the 16th. Jared O'Field, of no fixed address, is yet to enter pleas to one count of murder and to one count of possession of a bladed article, was remanded back into custody. One year on from Shay's death, and the murder investigation into his death started to go stale due to none of the leads finding substantial evidence. The 20-year-old, Gerard O'Field, who was charged on the 28th of August with the murder, was released as the case was discontinued by the Crown Prosecution Service. On the first anniversary of his death, detectives issued a £20,000 reward for information that leads to the identification, arrest and prosecution for those responsible for Shay's murder. In total, six people were arrested following the stabbing. Most recently, a 27-year-old man was arrested on Wednesday the 4th of October 2017 on suspicion of conspiracy to murder, but he too was released under investigation. Speaking on the first anniversary of her son's death, his mother, Chantal Bucknor, said his death left her feeling an emptiness and numbness. She told New Scotland Yard of how she rushed to Barnet Hospital after one of his friends informed her of the stabbing. She said, It felt like I spent all day at the hospital. The doctors came in and said that Cheyenne had passed away, and I couldn't believe it. I was just in total shock. I just remember hearing my daughter screaming. That's one thing that I will always remember. There has been a wall of silence. It's devastating to know that people were there and witnessed a fatality where somebody died and haven't come forward. There are people that are not coming forward, and that's devastating. The colour could be out there on the streets, thinking that they have got away with it, or maybe committing other crimes. My son was completely innocent in all of this. He was jovial, handsome, the life and soul of the party. Everybody loved Cheyenne. He would come in and be very polite and very manageable. As a result, the Metropolitan Police appealed for witnesses to come forward with information. Detective Chief Inspector Simon Harding said that Shea was sitting with friends on a wall in Cooper Gardens when a group of people arrived in cars before he was stabbed. They believed that Shea was the victim of a targeted attack and this attackers fled the scene with Shea later dying in hospital from the stab wound. He stated that Shea was not in a gang, but they believe his attacker had been tipped off that he was in the area meaning that there was a specific element of planning and the events that led to this attack. He said, The answers lie within the community, and because of that we have offered the reward. All information, no matter how small, will help us in our investigation. This person now walks around thinking that they've got away with it. They may be laughing at us, laughing at Chantel, laughing at the community. That can't be right. Since Shay's death, the She Enterprise has been launched by his mother, Chantal Bucknor, in a bid to support families going through similar trauma. Almost five years on from Shay's death, on Tuesday the 15th of February 2022, 
Jared Spence Robinson was charged with murder over the fatal stabbing of Cheyenne Macmillan in North London 2017 after arriving at Heathrow Airport on a flight from Canada. 24-year-old Jared Spence Robinson from Enfield in North London was also charged with conspiracy to supply Class A and B drugs over a separate matter and was due to appear at Uxbridge Magistrates Court the following day. Jared Spence Robinson previously went by the name Jared O'Field and was one of the original people arrested and questioned in the months following Shay's murder to which he gave no comment responses before the Crown Prosecution Service discontinued proceedings. Jared was a drug dealer who lived a life of luxury in his highly secured flat, often wearing expensive watches and designer clothing and would also vacation often. Between March and June 2020, Jared had used the Encrochat handle, Resilient Mind, to buy and supply cocaine and cannabis at a wholesale level, and based on the figures set out on the Encrochat messages, he would have received around a total of £373,500 during that period. On Friday the 18th of February 2022, members of Cheyenne McMillan's family sat in court as Jared Spence Robinson appeared in the dock at the Old Bailey for his preliminary hearing. Prosecutor Paul Jarvis told the court that Jared had been detained at Heathrow Airport after arriving in the UK from Canada. Speaking about Shay's death, Mr Jarvis said he had been to visit a friend and as he walked towards his house with his friends, he arrived in Cooper Gardens at around 7pm. He stated that the defendant knew Shay and that Jared had been tipped off by somebody that Shay was in the area with Jared making his way to Cooper Gardens with a large knife to confront him. He stated how Shay suffered a single stab wound to the chest which had pierced his heart and led to him dying in emergency surgery from the fatal blow. After the prosecution put forward its evidence, Jared Spence Robinson was charged with murder and remanded in custody with Judge Sarah Munro QC consequently setting a plea and trial preparation hearing for the 6th of May 2022. Jared Spence Robinson, who was accused of stabbing to death 23-year-old Cheyenne McMillan, stood trial on the 6th of May 2022 at the Old Bailey where he confirmed his identity but denied the murder. His defence counsel, Ishan Dave, told an Old Bailey judge that his client intended to contest every element of the case and a defence statement would be provided in six weeks time. A further case management hearing was scheduled to take place with a trial date being established to take place at the start of next year. In February 2023, Jared Spence Robinson stood trial at the Old Bailey for the murder of Cheyenne McMillan, as well as separate charges for conspiracy to supply Class A and B drugs and conspiracy to transfer criminal property. Jared had pleaded guilty to the conspiracy charges, but claimed that he acted in self-defence in regards to the murder charge. The court heard how the two men were known to each other with Jared having supplied Shay with a 9 ounce bar of cannabis and that he had been paid for some of the drugs but hadn't yet been paid in full. With Jared looking to be compensated in full, he received a phone call at around 7pm informing him that Shay was in the Cooper Gardens area of Southgate in Enfield. Roughly 15 minutes later, Jared arrived in Cooper Gardens armed with a large knife, fatally striking Shay in the chest before fleeing from the scene. Shay's friends helped him into the car and drove him to Barnett Hospital, with Shay collapsing inside the building at around 7.30pm. The 23-year-old later died in hospital later that evening at 8.20pm, with the post-mortem examination concluding the cause of death as a stab wound to the heart. Jared then fled the country, travelling to northern Cyprus, before returning three months later in August that same year, in which he was then arrested for the first time on suspicion of murder at Stansted Airport, at that time going by the name Jared O'Field. Unfortunately, he was later released as the case was discontinued by the Crown Prosecution Service, and since then Jared has been continuing with his lavish lifestyle up until the case was reopened after his recent arrest years later. Despite Jared's plea for self-defence, 
the jury unanimously found him guilty of murdering 23-year-old Shayon McMillan on Tuesday the 2nd of May 2017, close to his home in Southgate, North London. Paying tribute to her son, Shayon's mother, Chantal Bucknor, said, The impact on Shayon's death has been horrific on me emotionally and physically. I have not allowed myself to be consumed by grief, to be beaten with bitterness and sorrow. Since Shayon's death I feel that I have not grieved. I have not allowed myself to do so, especially in front of my children, as that would make them feel even more lost than they are having to deal with. The pain and loss of Shay's death will never leave me and has left me heartbroken. My heart currently works with one less valve. When I look at myself, I see a different reflection, a person that I don't recognise. When I see the pain of my children, it hurts more. Jared has never shown any remorse or respect to me and the family for the murder of our eldest son. For our family, there will be no more family events, no joint birthdays that I arrange. She will not meet new additions to our family. I will never have any grandchildren and yet it's hard to say life goes on. I thank my friends and family for supporting me over these years and thank the justice system for bringing justice for Shay. Detective Chief Inspector Brian Howie from the Metropolitan Specialist Crime Command added that Shayon's family and friends have faced a long and difficult wait for justice, claiming that they will never give up fighting for families like theirs who have lost their loved ones no matter how much time has passed. On Friday the 7th of July 2023, Jared Spence Robinson was handed a life sentence with a minimum term of 32 years after fatally stabbing Shayon McMillan in North London back in 2017. He was also jailed for 16 years for conspiracy to supply Class A drugs, 5 years for conspiracy to supply Class B drugs, and 4 years for conspiracy to transfer criminal property, to run concurrence to each other and to the life sentence for murder. And that brings to a close the horrific case of Shayon McMillan, who was tragically taken away from his loving family and friends at just 23 years old. Lawless Underground would wish to extend its sincere condolences to the loved ones of Shayon McMillan. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please consider liking the video and subscribing to Lawless Underground for more crime related content and hit the notification bell in order to stay up to date with next week's gruesome tale. If you have any suggestions or requests for future videos, then please let me know in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious, and goodbye for now from Lawless Underground.